Hey everybody, this is Chad with Thriving Canine and uh, I just want to set this up. This is going to be a video showing some different techniques for working on the weave poles, which is uh, one of the agility obstacles. And it's actually the hardest one of all of them, in my opinion, for the dogs to do that on their own. So uh, we'll see. But this first clip here is just going to be Banjo, that's my cattle dog. He's nine years old. He's been doing this for a while. So this will show you kind of what the final product looks like. And then I'll pop in here and there probably to narrate a little bit. And then I'll show you some videos of me starting to train my new dog, Abby, on how to do this. And she has not mastered it yet. So I'm going to show you the process. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Good boy. Okay, good job, Banjo. So now we're going to start with Abby. So the, the first thing we start doing, well, this way I do it. Um, and just full disclosure, I don't compete in agility. It's just for fun. I just do it for fun and confidence building. And I think there are um, transferable skills. The dog, having a confident dog, doing really high energy, active stuff that that they're enjoying but while at the same time focusing on you off leash that's a transferable skill so your dog is used to listening to you and cooperating with you while excited so just keep that in mind but anyway this is how i do it. so uh i back up just the same way um if you followed any of my other stuff or you've taken my classes or anything you know we back up teaching the dog the come command or to come when called so you're backing up and you sometimes you just do backing drills, feeding treats, that sort of thing. It's a pretty standard procedure. I'm not the only person doing that. So uh, but you start with that. So that same backup motion, but as you're backing up now, you guide with the treat in and out of the weave pulls. So, but it's also not just the treat. You also, you're guiding with your body. Your body is sort of blocking and guiding them in and out. So you've got to kind of go in and out a little bit but your hand is also going in and out with the treat, like so. And then we also use, um, I'm using just standard X pens or exercise pens to work as guides on the other side in part of this video. I'm starting to introduce that. And important note is some dogs, those guides can make them nervous. And you can get more fancy professional grade guides as well. I just put X pens up. It's cheap and easy. I already have them. So here we go, check it out, backing up with some guides involved as well. The first half here, you'll see it's just the weave poles with no guides at all. And then the second half, I've got the X-Pen set up as guides just on one side of the, of the poles. So let's go. Abby girl, come here. Good girl. So she's... She's literally only done this a few times before. So I'm still guiding her with treats. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna back up just like we do at the beginning when we're recalling the dog. We're gonna, I'm gonna be moving backwards to pull her into me like so. And then now I'm just gonna do that, but guide her in and out of the poles while we do it, trying to do the video at the same time. So we'll see how that goes. There we go. Good girl. She goes around the pole. Around the pole treat. I just gave her the treat right now. You could give more often if you need to. And now we have guides to help us out on that side. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Good job, Abby girl. For uh, for a beginner, she's picking it up pretty good. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're, I'm gonna do another one. This is just a different shot, different angle. Same kind of thing, but there's no guides on the poles at all this time. And sometimes at this level, the guides may or may not be helpful if the dog's nervous with the guides. But as we go on, you will see eventually that the guides become very useful. So, but they we're still backing up in this one. Here we go. All right. Okay. So now we're going to do the pretty much the same thing, but we're going to turn, I'm turning my body. So I'm moving forward. So 
the dog and the handler are parallel now. So I, rather than backing up, we're both moving forward, still guiding with the treat, and also still kind of using my leg and my body to guide the dog into the pole, and then move a little bit to give them room to come out and then guide them into the next pole, if that makes sense. So, but still mostly guiding with the treat, but there is body language involved, okay? And you can start add, if it's going well, you can start adding your verbals. I just go, I tend to go weave, 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 and eventually you'll, I also start clapping like this. I like to go rapid fire, weave, 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 or clapping like that just to kind of keep it up fast pace, keep the dog pumped up. Here we go. Uh, that's all the video I have so far. I'm going to have to take some more video as we uh, progress more. But full props to Banjo there. Having him do those downstays while I was having Avi do the weaves. That's like torture for him because he loves, loves the agility so much. He gets so excited. So good job, Banjo, for staying down there. You're my boy. All right, but good job, Abby. She's coming right along. I'll have some more videos coming.